Hi, it's me, Julie Conrad, intuitive healer and teacher coming to you with a balance on the law of attraction. So if you've ever watched The Secret, um, you know all about the law of attraction, or maybe you've read the book, or maybe you've just seen it on Instagram feeds. The law of attraction says that where your intention goes kind of and what you're trying to attach, attract is what you're thinking about. So today, I want to get you balanced so that you're not in your own way, because if every thought you have is an order to the universe, think about that as how's that coming back to you. If you're having more negative thoughts than the positive ones, you're probably attracting more negative life experiences than the positive ones that you really want. So today's all about really kind of removing any of the negative thoughts that are getting in the way of you attracting the life that you actually want to lead, especially around kind of career is my focus today, but you could use it for love life or um, relationships in your life that are, you know, maybe you want more friends that are more like-minded or a hobby or whatever that is. Set your intentions now and let's get started. I'm going to use muscle checking just like always with my AccuNet chart that's in my head. <laughs> and so the first thing we're going to move into is the nervous system. And it looks to me like we're going to balance somatic, body to spine, spine to body, um, keyword connection. And with that, we're going to balance Wei Chi to an organ, mm. Mm, the gallbladder. <laughs> All right, so let's do that together. Balancing somatic body to spine, spine to body, keyword connection, and Wei Chi to your gallbladder. It's kind of interesting to me because it's all about really embodying who you are in your body. Sometimes we get disconnected. So really feeling that connection. And then with that, we cheated the gallbladder is interesting to me because I tend to be a little type A, less so now in my current profession. But, you know, it's all about overanalyzing, planning, thinking. And so this feels like thinking about the right things and protecting those thoughts as you plan and dream and send that kind of wave out to the universe of your order of what you really want. Not what you don't want, but what you actually really want. So really breathe. Here comes the shift. There it goes. Good job. And what else could we use today? Oh, male, female brain. Let's get that all balanced up. And flow, meridian, so getting your energy flowing. Let's, is there more? No, we're just going to do male, female brain and flow of your meridians together. Nice big breaths now. Really balancing that right and left halves of the brain, getting them on the same page, bringing more harmony to your thoughts. And sometimes I think with the law of attraction, especially in what we are thinking that we want, sometimes I think the critical side, critical thinking side is like, no, no, you're not going to get that. Stop dreaming so big. And I'm here to say, dream bigger. And so let's balance for that. Dreaming bigger and getting our energy with that flow of meridians moving all in the directions of those big dreams, big desires, so that we can put that out into the universe and have it reflected back to us. There it goes. Good job. And with this, we're going to balance mm, defense, okay, to the mind. Perfect. All right, so defense to the mind. And right away that comes to me as like defending your thoughts, right? Really just knocking out whatever isn't really serving you and really thinking about harnessing the energy of positive thinking, almost like already owning it like it is your life you know for me there was a lot of power in saying like I am an intuitive healer and a teacher right owning that as I was bringing it into fruition even more through actions and thinking about it and attracting it so think about whatever that is and just kind of own it and keep your thoughts focused on what it is that you're looking to attract whether that's new clients that you want, maybe it's new relationships, maybe it's a new form of abundance. Yep, good. Let's see, now we're gonna balance back to the nervous system, so cortex. Lots of brain work happening here because really 
that's where a lot of it is. I mean, it's our emotions that kind of attract what we need, but if the brain isn't on board, well, we get sabotaged along the way, right? So flow of CSF, so your cerebral spinal fluid. So let's do that together, that's interesting. So cortex and the central nervous system, along with the flow of your cerebral spinal fluid, which really is carrying all these messages up and down. And we really wanna get that flow open. It gets restricted with age. We kind of ever heard that saying, you're set in your ways. Well, kind of those neural pathways and that flow is already set. And so we really wanna open up our frontal cortex to think new thoughts, create new neural pathways, a new resonance with this new life that we're attracting. And get that, your juices flowing, right? All moving in the right direction. Big breath, we're almost there. It's kind of like right here in the collarbone. So really breathe up and through. There it goes. Good job. Great, that is feeling really good inside. Okay, there's more for us. Let's see. We're gonna balance an element. Oh, wood element. No shock there if you watch my videos. Let's balance wood. So wood is our drive in life, right? The like get it done, list making, um, helps us be kind and really creative and get a lot done. It's motivating. Um, <laughs> anger goes with it, but you gotta think anger. We need that to kind of motivate us to get, get moving. So think about letting go of the stress aspect and just really being able to focus on taking one step towards that goal and holding the thought of like that you're already achieving it each day, bringing that into resonance with you, this like harmony, that you know the world's gonna reflect back the same energy pattern to you as you are. So being love gives you more love. My kids always comment on, why are people always so nice to you? And I was like, because I love people, <laughs> right? Like they're just, it's the world is our mirror, right? So it's coming back to us. It's such a lovely thing for them to be able to see, you know, it's tangible to them. They always laugh they're like mom you always get free stuff i'm like i do always get free stuff because people love to give me nice things <laughs> so holding that resonance and being charitable and willing to receive and open to that is excellent for all of us oh that was a nice shift complete and i am getting that that is what we most need to really help us activate this law of attraction and attract more of all the good stuff that we really need. I hope this helps you. I would love to see in the comments what you're working on attracting, what you wanna come into resonance with as we move into this fall season. If you're watching this some other season, that's great too. It's always gonna be effective. So be sure to comment, share this with someone that you think it might help and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.